On August 4, 1962, the world was shocked by the news of Marilyn Monroe's death. Found in her apartment next to an empty bottle of barbiturate pills, her autopsy revealed that she had overdosed on the drugs. This tragic event left many questioning the circumstances surrounding her death. Was it accidental or suicide? Marilyn Monroe was a prominent figure in the entertainment industry during the golden age of television. Her creative works continue to be celebrated, but there are still aspects of her life that remain a mystery. This video aims to answer some of the burning questions about this unforgettable 1960s legend. Throughout her career, the actress captivated audiences with her charisma and talent. Her films and shows left a lasting impact on the industry, transcending generations and remaining classics to this day. Despite her success, Monroe's personal life was often shrouded in speculation and intrigue. Join us as we delve into the life of this iconic figure, exploring her rise to fame, the mysteries surrounding her death, and the enduring legacy she left behind. Marilyn Monroe, originally named Norma Jean Mortensen, entered the world on June 1, 1926. Her early life was marked by instability and hardship. Marilyn's mother, Gladys Pearl Baker, faced significant financial struggles and eventually developed mental health issues. As a result, Marilyn spent an extended period of her childhood in foster homes. During her time in foster care, Marilyn experienced sexual abuse, which added to the challenges she faced in her formative years. Despite these adversities, Marilyn's star would rise, and she would become one of the most iconic actresses in Hollywood history. Marilyn's mother, Gladys, had a difficult life of her own. She was married twice and had three children, but she was unable to care for them due to her mental health issues. Gladys was eventually committed to a mental institution, leaving Marilyn to navigate the world without the guidance and support of a stable parental figure. Marilyn's experiences in foster care and the trauma she suffered at a young age shaped her in many ways. She developed a deep sense of resilience and determination, which would serve her well as she pursued a career in acting. Marilyn's early life challenges also fueled her desire to create a better life for herself and to find stability and happiness in the world of film. Despite the many obstacles she faced, Marilyn persevered and became one of the most beloved actresses of her time. Her legacy continues to inspire and captivate audiences around the world, and her story serves as a testament to the power of resilience and determination in the face of adversity. At the tender age of 16, Marilyn Monroe made a decision that would change her life forever. To avoid another stint in an orphanage, she married a neighbor's son. This experience, along with her challenging childhood, ignited a burning desire within her to become an actress. Marilyn Monroe's acting career was her escape from her grim surroundings, a place where she could find joy and solace, just like she did during her foster care days when she would lose herself in movies. Marilyn's early years were far from easy. She was born in Los Angeles in 1926 and was placed in an orphanage shortly after her mother was institutionalized. She bounced between foster homes and orphanages throughout her childhood, never finding a stable home. It was during these years that Marilyn discovered her love for movies. She would often escape to the cinema where she could forget about her troubles and immerse herself in the stories on the big screen. This love for movies stayed with her and when she married at 16, she saw it as an opportunity to start anew. She was determined to make a better life for herself and pursued her dream of becoming an actress. Marilyn's challenging childhood and early marriage only fueled her determination to succeed in the acting world. Marilyn's journey to stardom was not an easy one. She faced numerous rejections and setbacks, but she never gave up. She worked hard to perfect her craft, taking acting and singing lessons, and eventually landing small roles in films. Her hard work paid off, and she quickly rose to fame, becoming one of the most iconic actresses of all time. In conclusion, Marilyn Monroe's acting career was inspired by her need to escape her grim surroundings and the joy she found in movies during her foster care days. Her challenging childhood and early marriage only served to strengthen her resolve to succeed in the acting world. Marilyn's story is a testament to the power of determination and the human spirit. Marilyn Monroe, an actress who graced the silver screen with her unique blend of humor, tenacity, and physical attractiveness, faced professional challenges that she conquered with determination. In films like Gentlemen Prefer Blondes and How to Marry a Millionaire, she showcased her comedic prowess and became a symbol of sensuality. However, the actress often found herself typecast and underpaid in the male-dominated film industry. Despite these challenges, Monroe refused to be silenced. She leveraged her fame and founded her own film production company, 
giving her more control over her roles and career. This bold move led to significant parts in Bus Stop and The Prince and The Showgirl, where she demonstrated her versatility as an actress. In Bus Stop, Monroe portrayed a saloon singer with depth and vulnerability, challenging the one-dimensional image that had been created for her. Similarly, in The Prince and The Showgirl, she held her own against a formidable leading man, showcasing her talent and tenacity. Monroe's impact on the entertainment industry transcended her time, inspiring future generations of actresses to break free from stereotypes and demand respect and equal pay. Her legacy continues to resonate with audiences today, as her films remain classics that captivate and inspire. By taking control of her career and challenging the status quo, Monroe left an indelible mark on the world of film. Marilyn Monroe's marital life was quite eventful, with the actress tying the knot three times throughout her life. First, she married James Doherty in 1942, when she was just 16 years old. However, their marriage ended in 1946 due to personal and professional pressures as Monroe's acting career began to take off. Soon after, Monroe married baseball legend Joe DiMaggio in 1954. Their union was short-lived, lasting only nine months. The pressures of Monroe's rising stardom and DiMaggio's intense jealousy ultimately led to their divorce. Monroe's third and final marriage was to playwright Arthur Miller in 1956. This marriage was perhaps the most significant, as Miller wrote the screenplay for Monroe's film The Misfits. However, like her previous marriages, this one also ended in divorce in 1961. The couple faced numerous challenges, including Monroe's mental health struggles and Miller's legal issues. Despite being married three times, Monroe never had any children. She was pregnant three times during her marriage to Miller, but all pregnancies ended in miscarriage or ectopic pregnancy. Contrary to some rumors, Monroe never had any children, and her focus remained on her career and personal life. Marilyn Monroe, the renowned actress, had amassed an impressive net worth by the time of her death in 1962. It was estimated to be over 800000 which was a substantial sum for that era, reflecting her successful career in the entertainment industry. If adjusted for inflation, this amount would be equivalent to around $7 million in today's currency. However, her estate's value has grown significantly over the years. Today, Marilyn Monroe's net worth is estimated to be approximately $30 million. This increase is largely due to the ongoing popularity of her films, her enduring image, and the continued sale of merchandise related to her likeness. The actress's estate has been carefully managed, with a significant portion of the earnings coming from the licensing of her image and name. This includes deals with various companies for products ranging from clothing and accessories to home goods and cosmetics. Additionally, the ongoing interest in her life and career has led to the sale of numerous books, documentaries, and other media about her. Marilyn Monroe's net worth today is a testament to her enduring influence and the lasting impact she has had on popular culture. Despite passing away over half a century ago, she remains a household name, and her films continue to captivate new audiences. This classic actress's legacy continues to resonate, marking her place in the annals of history. Once upon a time, in the glamorous world of Hollywood, there was a woman who left an everlasting mark on the film industry. She was none other than Marilyn Monroe, an actress, singer, and model who became a symbol of beauty and sensuality. Born as Norma Jean Mortensen on June 1, 1926, in Los Angeles, California, Marilyn's journey to stardom was not an easy one. After her mother was institutionalized, she spent her childhood in and out of foster homes. However, she never let her past define her. Marilyn's career took off in the 1950s, and she quickly became a household name. Her films, such as The Seven Year Itch and Some Like It Hot, were box office hits, and she became a cultural icon. Her unique blend of vulnerability and sex appeal made her a favorite among audiences. Despite her success, Marilyn remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She worked tirelessly to perfect her acting skills and was known for her meticulous preparation for roles. Her hard work paid off, and she received critical acclaim for her performances. Marilyn's impact on popular culture extends beyond her film career. Her style, including her platinum blonde hair and red lipstick, has been widely imitated. She has also been the subject of numerous books, documentaries, and biopics. Marilyn Monroe's legacy continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Her life and career serve as a reminder that with hard work and determination, anyone can achieve their dreams. Marilyn Monroe, 
born Norma Jean Mortensen on June 1, 1926, in Los Angeles, California, had a challenging upbringing. Her mother's mental health issues led to Monroe spending her childhood in foster homes and orphanages. This instability, however, did not dampen her spirit or deter her from pursuing her dreams. Monroe's interest in acting began at a young age. She would sneak onto movie sets to watch her favorite stars. This early exposure to the craft ignited a passion that would shape her future. At 16, she married James Doherty to avoid returning to the orphanage. However, this marriage was short-lived as Monroe sought to pursue her dream of becoming an actress. In the early 1940s, Monroe started working in a munitions factory. It was here that she was discovered by a photographer who saw her potential and encouraged her to pursue modeling. This encounter marked a turning point in Monroe's life leading her to sign a contract with 20th Century Fox in 1946. Monroe's career took off in the 1950s. She starred in several successful films, including Gentlemen Prefer Blondes and The Seven Year Itch. Her unique blend of charm, humor, and sex appeal made her a household name. She became a symbol of Hollywood glamour and a cultural icon. Monroe's path was not without influential figures. One of her earliest mentors was actress Natasha Leitis, who coached Monroe and helped her refine her acting skills. Another significant influence was Columbia Pictures executive Harry Cohn, who gave Monroe her first big break in the film Ladies of the Chorus. Despite her success, Monroe's life was marked by personal struggles. She grappled with mental health issues and addiction, which ultimately led to her untimely death in 1962. However, her legacy continues to inspire generations of actors and fans alike. Marilyn Monroe's passion for acting can be traced back to her early years. As a child, she would often put on shows for her neighbors, charging a small fee for admission. This early interest in performance art led her to pursue acting as a career. One pivotal experience that fueled Monroe's desire to become an actress was her time spent at the Actors Lab in Los Angeles. There, she studied method acting, a technique that involves fully immersing oneself in a character's emotions and experiences. Monroe was a dedicated student, attending classes regularly and practicing her craft diligently. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks in her career, Monroe never lost her passion for acting. She once said, I want to grow as an actress, and that means learning my craft. This commitment to her craft, along with her natural talent and charisma, helped Monroe become one of the most iconic actresses of all time. Monroe's impact on the world of acting is still felt today and her legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors around the world. Her story serves as a reminder that with hard work, dedication, and a passion for one's craft, anyone can achieve their dreams. Marilyn Monroe, born Norma Jean Mortensen on June 1, 1926, in Los Angeles, California, faced numerous challenges on her path to stardom. Raised in various foster homes, she experienced financial struggles and instability during her early years. Despite these hardships, Monroe's determination and resilience shone through. At the age of 16, Monroe married James Doherty to avoid returning to foster care. However, this union was short-lived as she sought to pursue a career in acting. Rejected by 20th Century Fox due to her lack of acting experience and unique appearance, Monroe refused to give up on her dreams. Monroe turned to modeling as a stepping stone into the film industry. Her natural beauty, and charisma quickly caught the attention of photographers and magazine editors. She graced the covers of numerous publications, including Life and Red Book, which helped her gain recognition and pave the way for her acting career. In 1946, Monroe signed a contract with 20th Century Fox, marking the beginning of her transformation into the iconic Hollywood starlet. However, her journey was far from easy. She faced skepticism from industry professionals who doubted her acting abilities and dismissed her as merely a pretty face. Monroe's response was to work tirelessly to prove them wrong. Monroe enrolled in acting classes and worked with renowned drama coach Natasha Leitzis to hone her craft. Her dedication paid off when she landed her first major film role in The Asphalt Jungle. Although her part was small, Monroe's performance left a lasting impression, showcasing her potential as a serious actress. Despite her early success, Monroe continued to face obstacles in the industry. She was often typecast in shallow, glamorous roles that failed to highlight her acting abilities. In response, Monroe actively sought out more challenging parts, and eventually proved her versatility in films such as Niagara, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, and The Misfits. Marilyn Monroe's journey from humble beginnings to Hollywood stardom is a testament to her resilience and determination. 
overcoming financial struggles, industry skepticism, and typecasting, Monroe forged her own path and left an indelible mark on Hollywood history. Marilyn Monroe's career was marked by several breakthrough moments. In 1948, she was spotted by photographer Bruno Bernard, who helped her create a portfolio that led to her first film contract with 20th Century Fox. A significant turning point came in 1953 when Monroe starred in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Her performance as Lorelai Lee, a diamond-loving showgirl, was widely praised. The New York Times noted her bubbling blonde charm, and the film became a box office hit. The same year, Monroe's iconic performance in How to Marry a Millionaire further solidified her status as a Hollywood star. Her portrayal of Paula Debevoise, a myopic model, was celebrated for her comedic timing and sex appeal. In 1955, Monroe delivered a powerful dramatic performance in The Seven Year Itch, which included the famous scene of her standing over a subway grate with her white dress billowing up. The film was a major success, earning over $8 million at the box office. Monroe's work in Some Like It Hot in 1959 was another groundbreaking moment. She played Sugar Cane Cowlchick, a singer in an all-female band, and her performance received critical acclaim. The film won an Academy Award for Best Costume Design, and Monroe's performance was widely regarded as one of her best. Monroe's impact on Hollywood was significant. Her unique blend of sex appeal, humor, and vulnerability made her a beloved figure in American popular culture. Her influence can still be seen today in the way that actresses approach their roles and in the enduring popularity of her films. Marilyn Monroe, an actress who became a cultural icon, had a unique artistic vision and process. She was born Norma Jean Mortensen on June 1, 1926, in Los Angeles, California. Monroe's childhood was marked by instability, which later influenced her work. Monroe's approach to acting was intuitive and spontaneous. She once said, I don't look at myself as a sex symbol. I just look at myself as a performer. This statement reflects her belief in the power of performance and her desire to connect with her audience. Monroe's personal experiences were often reflected in her work. For instance, her turbulent childhood was a significant influence on her performance in The Misfits. She played a character who, like herself, struggled with feelings of isolation and abandonment. Monroe's worldview was shaped by her experiences as a woman in Hollywood. She was acutely aware of the objectification and exploitation that women in the industry faced. This awareness is evident in her performance in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, where she plays a character who uses her sexuality to her advantage. Monroe's unique style and approach to acting have left a lasting impact on the industry. Her ability to embody both vulnerability and strength, often in the same role, was groundbreaking. Despite the challenges she faced, Monroe remained committed to her craft, continually pushing boundaries and challenging expectations. Her legacy continues to inspire and influence actors today. Marilyn Monroe, an actress who left an enduring mark on the film industry, was born Norma Jean Mortensen on June 1, 1926. She transformed into a captivating figure who significantly influenced Hollywood's trends, techniques, and storytelling. According to Rolling Stone, Monroe brought a sexuality to the screen that was at once playful and unapologetic. She broke the mold of the typical 1950s actress, using her unique charm and allure to create a new standard of beauty and sensuality. Monroe's impact extended beyond her on-screen presence. Her influence on fashion remains relevant today, with designers often drawing inspiration from her timeless style. As Vogue notes, Marilyn Monroe's style is still one of the most celebrated and replicated in the world. Her acting techniques also left a lasting impression. Monroe's ability to balance vulnerability and strength in her performances resonated with audiences and inspired future generations of actors. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, actress Michelle Williams, who portrayed Monroe in the film My Week with Marilyn, said, she had this ability to be both childlike and sexual at the same time, which I think is a really modern idea. Moreover, Monroe played a significant role in advocating for women's rights in the entertainment industry. She famously fought for equal pay and spoke openly about the challenges she faced as a woman in Hollywood. Her courage and determination paved the way for future female stars to demand fair treatment and respect. Monroe's legacy continues to inspire and influence, transcending the boundaries of film, fashion, and feminism. Her unique approach to storytelling, beauty, and advocacy has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry and the world at large. Marilyn Monroe, the legendary actress, was known for her glamorous persona both on and off the screen. But there was more to her than just her Hollywood image. 
She had a deep passion for literature and was an avid reader. Monroe's love for books was well known among her close circles. She was particularly fond of authors like Edgar Allan Poe, William Shakespeare, and James Joyce. This passion for literature often influenced her work, giving her characters a depth and nuance that was rare for the time. Monroe was also known for her philanthropic efforts. She was a staunch supporter of the American Red Cross and often volunteered her time and resources to help those in need. In 1955, she was appointed the chairperson of the Motion Picture Division of the Red Cross. Monroe took this role very seriously and worked tirelessly to raise funds and awareness for the organization. Moreover, Monroe was a champion for civil rights. She was one of the first Hollywood stars to publicly support the civil rights movement. She was also a vocal advocate for gender equality and women's rights. Monroe's personal values and beliefs often shone through in her public statements and actions, making her a role model for many. In her personal life, Monroe was a dog lover and had several pets throughout her life. She was also known for her love of fashion and style. Despite her busy schedule, she always made time for her personal interests and hobbies, believing that they helped her stay grounded and balanced. In essence, Marilyn Monroe was not just a Hollywood icon, but a woman of substance with a deep love for literature a strong commitment to social causes, and a passion for her personal interests. Her legacy continues to inspire and captivate people around the world. Marilyn Monroe, the legendary actress, left behind a lasting impact in the film industry. She was known for her charm, wit, and unforgettable performances. Even today, her work continues to inspire aspiring professionals. If Marilyn Monroe were here to give advice to those wanting to follow in her footsteps, she might say, find what makes you unique and embrace it. Never stop learning and growing as an artist. Surround yourself with people who support and challenge you. She might also emphasize the importance of staying true to oneself and not being afraid to take risks. Monroe was known for pushing boundaries and taking on challenging roles, which helped her to stand out in a crowded field. In terms of future contributions, Monroe might encourage aspiring professionals to use their talents to make a difference in the world. Whether through advocacy, philanthropy, or simply using their platform to spread positivity, there are many ways to make a meaningful impact. Overall, Monroe's legacy is a testament to the power of hard work, determination, and a little bit of spark. By following in her footsteps and forging their own paths, aspiring professionals can achieve great things and leave their own lasting mark on the industry. Marilyn Monroe, born Norma Jean Mortensen in 1926, was a woman of passion an innovation who left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. She began her journey in the world of acting at a young age, determined to escape her turbulent childhood. Monroe's career took off in the 1950s with her breakout role in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. She quickly became a symbol of glamour and sex appeal, but she was much more than just a pretty face. Monroe was a shrewd businesswoman who carefully crafted her public image, and she used her platform to advocate for women's rights and sexual liberation. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks, including struggles with mental health and addiction, Monroe never gave up on her dreams. She continued to push boundaries and innovate, both on and off the screen. Her performance in Some Like It Hot is still regarded as one of the greatest in film history, and her impact on popular culture can be seen everywhere, from fashion to advertising. Monroe's legacy is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. She proved that with hard work and determination, anyone can leave their mark on the world, no matter where they come from. Her passion and innovation continue to inspire generations of artists and performers, and her enduring impact on the entertainment industry is a reminder of the importance of staying true to oneself and never giving up on one's dreams. Marilyn Monroe, born Norma Jean Mortensen on June 1, 1926, in Los Angeles, California was an actress who left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. She began her career as a model before transitioning to acting in the late 1940s. Monroe quickly became a symbol of Hollywood glamour and is remembered for her comedic timing and charisma. Her performance in Some Like It Hot earned her a Golden Globe Award in 1960. She also gave memorable performances in films such as The Seven Year Itch and Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Despite her success, Monroe's personal life was often tumultuous she struggled with mental health issues and addiction, and her romantic relationships were the subject of much media attention. Monroe's influence extends beyond her film career. She remains a cultural icon with her image and style continuing to be celebrated and replicated. 
Her impact on fashion is undeniable, with her signature beauty mark and platinum blonde hair becoming synonymous with her persona. In recent years, there has been renewed interest in Monroe's life and career. Books, documentaries, and films have explored different aspects of her life, from her rise to fame to her untimely death in 1962. Marilyn Monroe's legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. Her talent, beauty, and vulnerability have made her a timeless figure in the world of entertainment.